Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in to today's Viva Nista, Viva Real. We're keeping it fun and interesting and fundraising uh, with another live interview with one of San Francisco's most fabulous philanthropists who has dedicated so much of her time to volunteer fundraising and chairing innumerable events across San Francisco. And it's my honor to be sitting here with Roberta Economides. Um, who's actually co-chairing this year's American, uh, American Red Cross Paint the Town Red Gala on Saturday, March 6th, which is the biggest event uh, that the Red Cross does here in San Francisco. It's a huge, huge fundraiser and a, an, an exceptionally fun event. And so we're going to have a little fun asking Roberta about her background in philanthropy, how she came to support the Red Cross Bay Area chapter, um, in this event and all of the fun things that go along with that. So thank you for being here. It's thank such you for a having pleasure. Me. And I'm so glad that our Vivanistas can tune in to learn um, from a, um, a sage and fundraising. <laughs> so I will, I'll begin with our first question, which is how and why did you decide to get involved with the Pay the Town Red Gala? Well, uh, like many things in my life, uh, it stemmed out of my work with the symphony. I've been very active with the symphony for many years, and I've found that many of my closest friends uh, have come from that. And I, I got to know my co-chair, Kelly Murphy, who had been active in the Red Cross for a number of years, and she asked me if I would participate in the gala. And I loved the idea of getting involved with the Red Cross because it's very different from the art organization. Sure. It is something that really reaches out to the community. It's something that touches absolutely everybody, and that, God forbid, when, not if we have an earthquake here, everyone will be affected by. So being able to work towards something that really is uh, something that impacts everybody, regardless of their location or background, was really appealing to me. And that's what the Red Cross is about. Absolutely. Um, what was the impetus for the Paint the Town Red Gala? How, how did it begin? How many years has it been produced in SF? And uh, is, it, is it produced in other areas of the country or other countries? Well, it's been produced in San Francisco for about 10 years. And a lot of people don't realize that this is an international event and a tradition for the Red Cross. Interesting. We have uh, Red Cross galas in New York, London, Palm Beach, um, and Monaco is the biggest one, oh, okay. and Monaco is, is incredible. So this is really a tradition for the Red Cross in terms of bringing about awareness and also for fundraising. So this is really an international, an event that stems from something very international. Sure. Uh, what was, what is, excuse me, the format of this year's gala and what will be the wow factors? Well, there are going to be a couple of wow factors. We are having it again at City Hall, which I think is one of the most beautiful venues. And it is great because uh, one of the things that's a wow factor for me is I get to work with Dominic Phillips, who is going to be our event Yay. designer. We love Dominic. <laughs> and, and I think, like I said, there are going to be a couple of wow factors. But one of the things that I'm really excited about is the decor. We get to work with Red which is something you don't necessarily get to do on most galas. If you walk into a room at a gala and everything's red and the lighting and the dresses and you know all of the decor, normally you wouldn't think that that's a fit. So we get to do something really playful because we're the Red Cross. Right. And, um, and of course we have such an amazing production team, so I think that's gonna be a great wow factor. Another wow factor is the people that attend this event. Um, unlike a lot of other events, this is something that really reaches people across the board. We have people from the business community, the philanthropic community, the international community. Um, all of the consulars in San Francisco are invited. And so the consular corps attends. And we have a lot of support from people you know, through our silent and live auctions. So we're going to have a lot of the people in the hospitality industry coming. Uh, and now we're going to conclude with one of my favorite questions, which is, what does philanthropy mean to you? My last name is Economides, so not to be my big fat Greek wedding. <laughs> Um, as, as a Greek girl, uh, you know, uh, philanthropy actually means love of man or love of mankind. Um, it comes from the Greek word philanthropy, philanthropia, excuse me. And, um, and it's interesting because to me, it always means thinking outside of yourself and contributing beyond yourself and realizing that you, know, you can put all of this energy into your life and into you, but really it is so important to go beyond yourself and 
and, and into the world beyond you and, and, and contribute to the community. So that's what it means to me. Well, thanks for sharing that. Thank you. Thank and you so much. And we wish you the absolute best on the Paint the Town Red Gala.